Let's ride. Supersonic. Max Q. Page one, Max Q. A few minutes later. Four, three, two, one. It is full power and lift off. The crew pick. Go Dragon, go power. Just then. Two, one. It is full power and lift off. The crew six. Go Dragon, go Falcon. Yeah, these things are cool to watch 100% of the time. That is SpaceX's Falcon 9 taking off from the Kennedy Space Center this morning. Always spectacular. The rocket is taking two American astronauts, one Russian cosmonaut, and one crew member from the United Arab Emirates to the International Space Station. Now, the launch was delayed after an engine system derailed on Monday. This time around, it was all systems go. So CBS News space analyst Bill Hallwood can join us now from the Kennedy Space Center there in uh, central, in, in Florida. Um, why was this mission delayed to the middle? <coughs> Fifteen minutes later. Three, two, one. It is full power and lift off. The crew six. Go Dragon, go Falcon. Well, that is SpaceX Crew-6 lifting off from the Kennedy uh, Space Center. They're on their way right now to the International Space Station. Amanda Holly's back with us now to tell us what this crew is going to do. A lot of experiments once they get up there. Yeah, four astronauts on board. They have a full slate of things to do over the next six months. Right now, though, those four astronauts, they're about 11 hours into their 25-hour journey to the International Space Station, so they got to get there first. The countdown was relatively smooth last night after they replaced a fuel filter, which ended up scrubbing Monday's launch attempt. But that was fixed. Now, since the launch at 1234 this morning, they have already worked through another issue while on orbit, but they quickly determined it to be a bad sensor, so all is good to go. Docking is scheduled for 1.17 a.m. tomorrow morning. And while on orbit, they have an extensive list of things to complete over the next six months. On top of doing research to help us live in space for long periods of time, they're going to be studying how things burn in the zero gravity environment. That's a tricky one because typically fire in space is not a good thing. But more importantly, they're going to continue tissue research for the heart, cartilage, and brain functions. Now, this fundamental research really does help with a lot of things here on Earth including treatments for diseases and cancers. So they will be busy with all of that while there, along with managing several missions that are going to come and go during their time. This is how legends are born.